Good morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right. It's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is two, no, Wednesday, March 11th, 2015. I long to be back on the dash. And at the last minute, my husband had to switch cars. Here we are. I apologize. So, what's in the news today? First, a tragic helicopter crash on the beaches of Florida, an army, I, I, you know, I shouldn't even say army, it's a military helicopter and the 11 aboard are feared to be dead. Uh, Hillary Clinton addressed the email scandal. Uh, Democrats are happy, Republicans, not so much. She said she deleted some uh, personal emails. I smile because she mentioned wedding emails, uh, yoga routines, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A lot of memes are popping up across the internet with that going on. Uh, two students have been expelled from OU because of the SAE scandal. Uh, I do appreciate that the national chapter of SAE said the students most likely learned the chant from other chapter members. Duh. Uh, but they obviously don't support the message of them. And finally, Johnny Depp injured his hand while filming the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie to be released in July 2017. Supposedly, the injury will not hurt the process of filming. So, loving learning doing today. I'm loving a book by, uh, let me make sure I get the title right here. So, friend I met at NRB, Rob Elliott, it's called More Laugh Out Loud Jokes for Kids. Obviously, you know that there's a book, Laugh Out Loud Jokes for Kids, best-selling. And we went to see Pippin last night. Let me just tell you, um, I feel like I need to put a disclaimer here. I mentioned I sang the songs in high school. They were great, uh, written by the composer of Wicked. The show is not what I would call family friendly. Uh, I had asked, I had looked on Broadway, it was in the children's kind of family section. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, my definition of family friendly and others is a little off. Uh, we left it, I was going to say halftime, we left it in our mission. It's a great production. Uh, the acrobatics and the magic were wonderful, but let me just say there were a ton of innuendos, a lot of innuendos, um, a couple swear words, and the costumes left little to the imagination, let's say. So, anywho, just if you're considering going, just know that it is probably not appropriate for those under 13 or much around that age. So, I thought this would be a great thing to give my kids today uh, so that they have age-appropriate jokes, I'm sure we'll laugh about it around the dinner table. What am I learning? Yesterday, John Ortberg, uh, he used to be a pastor when I was at Willow Creek in Chicago. Now he's out in Menlo Park, uh, California, and he was talking about his new book. Oh, it's I keep wanting to say, oh, the places you'll go. I think it's all the places you go. It's a, kind of a play on the Dr. Seuss popular book of, oh, the places you'll go. And he talked about God being a God of open doors. And just was a great speaker, great messages, but he had said something. He said, going through an open door doesn't mean life will be easy on the other side. God promised, I will go with you, or go and I will go with you, not go and the job will be easy. If you think about Noah and Abraham. So that was good. I shared that with the kids last night, and I thought that was a great word to keep in mind. So today, I've got writing and recording to do, and I almost forgot I've got a counseling session. So I'm going to go at least put a little makeup on for that. You guys know me. It's okay. I don't need makeup for you. So that's what's going on today. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great. Bye.